In this educational video, I am going to show you how to print a class list using Schoolmax. I am going to show you two ways to do this. One way is to download the information into a PDF file, which is easy to print. The second way I'm going to show you is to download the same information into a CSV file, which is something you would use in Excel and by doing this you can manipulate the data and create all sorts of um, worksheets or whatever using the student information. So let us begin. First thing you want to do is log into Schoolmax, which I have already done. Click on the Reports tab. Click on the Reports tab. There we go. Click on Teacher. Click on 510 column class worksheet. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do this and print it in a PDF. This is perfect if, you, if you're going to have a substitute and you want to leave some class lists, highly recommend you do this. So the effective date is right there. Really important. You want to change the output into PDF. Click generate report. Loading, 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 loading. Ah, here's your report. Um, I like to save these things. So this is my class roster 925-2013. And as soon as it's ready, you can open it. And it should pop right up. And so there are all of my students. I can print this as many times as I want, and I have a class roster just in case I have a sub and I want to leave them the names and information of my students. So I am done with this. I am going to X out. I am going to go back into my parameter sheet here. And once again, I am going to make a 510 column class worksheet. But this time, instead of saving it in HTML or PDF, I'm going to save it in CSV, which stands for Comma Separated Value. I don't know who comes up with this stuff. Click on Generate Report. Once again, we wait for the document to load. Name the document. This is my class roster 925 2013. Saving, saving, saving. Let's open the file up. And the data should pop right up. And there it is. And you have all of my data broken down by class. Now, it doesn't label the classes um, with periods, but it does say these are local, national, I'm sorry, local, state, national students. These are AP students. Everything's alphabetical, so you can kind of get a sense here. Here's A to, to V, and then you have an A again, which means you have a new list, a new class. They have the section numbers. All this information is great. Um, I can copy and paste this information and create uh, my own Excel sheets to keep track of data. Um, if I wanted to make a email list, I could just copy these names, put them in another file and then you know get the student email addresses and then just put those in, into the uh, new file. This is something that is really really helpful and you can have your students uh, information at your fingertips.